I feel like I'm more of a traffic cop of a morning. I have to have a game plan that changes by the hour a lot of times. You know, where do my field service need to be? What needs to be brought in and what, what is the priority of the day? Sometimes what is the priority of the hour? Dave O'Mara Contractors is a very diversified company. Our main moneymaker is in the paving business. So road construction, bridge construction, that is their main thrust. Well, this place here is very expensive to run every day as far as breakdowns, and we can't afford to, I mean, labor is the most expensive thing anymore. So the least amount of downtime anymore is, is the key to keeping this place going. We're going to be anywhere from seven to eight, 900 active pieces. A lot of the excavators, dozers, they keep close tabs of those. Immediately, those unit numbers went into cat.com because I wanted to track maintenance on the most used pieces of equipment. Well, then we get to the point of, we've got automobiles, we've got pickups, we've got dump trucks, we've got everything. Why, why would you want two and three different systems when one system can do everything. What I try to do as far as logging all this information is in, I'll uh, bring up each individual piece of equipment. Now, some of the things I've noticed as I bring these in, if they're not in the asset list, that's when I add them because I can immediately add that asset, go right back over to the task of it, and then it gets placed in and I will go word for word what that needs to be done on each individual piece, on what you're doing and what you did, what did you use. There's a lot of times these guys will see that I'm busy and they'll just take a piece of paper and write down the hours and scribble on what they did on just a blank piece of paper and lay it on my desk. Our documentation, we had many gaps. We missed a lot of things that was done. Cat Inspect is filling those gaps. The whole thing with the app, it just makes everything easier for the field service and the service side inside the shop because it just, it's eliminating the whole paper aspect of everything. Right now my hands are clean, but usually they're caked in grease, asphalt, oil, and when you can just hit the button, talking to it, it will spell everything corrected. A lot of times we get miscommunications on part numbers or what we're ordering because I'm seeing one thing and then my parts guy doesn't see exactly what I get to see. So I get to take the picture, say, oh, this is what I need, and then he sees it, and then it's like, bam, it's right there, so there's no miscommunications, it's right there. It's a really user-friendly app, too, so you don't have to have a degree in engineering to navigate this app, either. You can just, just about anybody can use it. Because, you know, anymore with equipment costs so much, you need to run older stuff, so with McAllister and everybody, we can kind of use this data and go, okay, we need to spend this money or we need to buy new. I, let's just the other day, for instance, I retracted D6, that's $30,000. Plus you don't have the dozer, you know, so, but McAllister's have the parts, I can get it fixed. I can make an intelligent decision whether we need to spend the 30,000 on that old dozer. They kind of help me make that decision and then we go from there. We have to make quick, quick, quick decisions. Cat.com should be part of those quick decisions and getting that equipment back and running. I feel kind of odd that at my age, I'm the one pushing the new technology, <laughs> but I see the value in it. And I think they do too.